Mauricio says, I'm searching if there is possible to disable user to read a SharePoint list. I created an app with Power App that used that the user needed to approve list created with SharePoint to connect with the app. But he can log in also directly to the SharePoint website and read all the information of the SharePoint directories uh, and list. And for me, it is a problem. So how do you disable a user their ability to read the SharePoint list? Is this just the problem with you've created, you've created a solution and there's that nice little button where I can go and say, well, let me view this in SharePoint and then see everything. Is that what this is? Yeah. It, it, it could be because, and what you're doing is you're, you're exposing the fact that Microsoft lists out of the box are going to give you two security options out of the box. So you and I can see everything or edit everything, or I can only see my own entries and you can only see your own entries. Any other attempts to have row level security in a list that doesn't exist out of the box. And so uh, that you're using a list as a, a data store for an application. You start bumping into these things, the, the more the advanced requirement is. So it sounds like, you know, list, great place to put data, uh, maybe not the best place to secure data. So to answer the question, how, how can you make it so people can't see the, 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 the data, right? The data, I mean, technically he could break the inheritance on the list. That in turn will probably break the app. I, I'm sorry, and by and when I say break the inheritance, I mean remove that that editing or that viewership permission. But then now your application has to account for that. Something is going to have to act on behalf of the user. So it gets kind of gets complicated. And I mean you could you could go down the rabbit hole and be very creative. You could do something like break the in, break the inheritance, remove all the permissions, but only grant access to those individual items using something like power automate but you know we're just adding complexity we're, we're we're venturing into that space that microsoft discourages people like like use the capability you know the out-of-the-box functionality and the way that it was designed to do it's uh, lists are meant to be relatively flat um flat structure so i i would say then set the default permission so that I only see what my entries are and then create another view, another uh, look into that where the people that need to have access and view all those things can see it. But by default, I should only be able to see the items that I've, you know, that, that I've entered in. Yeah, and that you have to get into more deeply into the permissions. So to Norm's point, it only creates two default permission groups. You can't, there's like 27, I don't even know anymore, different attributes that you can turn on or turn off and create custom permission settings. But, you know, it's, if it's Teams enabled site and it's a Teams enabled list, now you're kind of getting into the mushy part where if you add a new member, you've got to remember to go back and change their permission in the SharePoint site that is, you know, storing and managing everything. So it's not out of the box functionality. So, so if that's the case, if the, if the requirements are valid to have it, you know, and, and to do something that's more granular, what are the recommendations for that? Well, where would you point them? I mean, not use lists, what, what's the next option? Yes, and, and that's it. It's a decision point usually driven out of our real requirement around security. You're, something is, is sensitive, it can't be shared with an entire group. Then you need to start evaluating what will make sense for you. Now, if you're in the the Microsoft 365 platform, then you can look to Dataverse for Teams. It's a little more complicated than lists, but you'll be able to do a, a little different security. You'll have a little more freedom in creation. If that still doesn't suit your needs. Then you might have to look at Dataverse, which is you know part of the Power Platform. That's got a little steeper learning curve than Microsoft Lists, but if it's your requirement that's driving the, or if the requirement is driving that that need for data protection, then you're going to need a platform that can support it. People are very creative, and I'm sure there's a lot of consultants out there that can can work around the problem. But fundamentally, well, it, well, it goes back to that problem. It's like uh, you know, Microsoft has been trying to push back on the you know SharePoint as a Swiss Army knife. Can you break it and go and do the things like yeah, but then becomes an unsupportable mess it causes problems downstream use the products for what they're intended in the way that they're intended 
And so if you have those more complex requirements, there are other alternatives to that, but it's going to be a little bit, you know, a heavier development load. Yeah. And, you know, we're doing this big push for community developers right now. They want people to uh, use the Power Automate, Power Apps, the whole Power Platform, and give citizen developers the ability to create their own stuff. But should they? When you're when you're talking about complexity, it's like, I can dive in and, and get some, but I'll, I'll tell you, I'm dangerous when it gets to some of this, um, when it gets into the coding part of it. Um, should I am I the best person to build that solution just because maybe I'm a citizen developer? Right. I, I don't know that that's always the best case. You know, bring in the right people to do the job, and then you're going to save yourself a lot of frustration. And the right people to do the job, and that's when Jay just shows up out of nowhere. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> if you heard, his ears were tingling. Did I hear someone call the right people to do the job? <laughs> yeah. Not that that's Jay, because it's not, but it's just, wow. <laughs> Well, excellent. Uh, well, I think that's a it's a this is a, a a question that I've we've heard variations on this from time to time, and I think the answer is the same. It's you know it's like be clear on what you're trying to accomplish and use the right tools to solve the right problems. All right, or ask Jay. Or ask Jay. <laughs> I mean, I agree with everything you've said since I've gotten on the call. So. <laughs> <laughs>